Dear Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would ride on the back of a very fine gander. High in the sky she goes riding above, and everyone waves at the lady they love. Cause Mother Goose stories and Mother Goose rhymes make magical memories and wonderful times. Please, Mother Goose, tell us a rhyme. We've heard them before, but we love them each time. Tell us a story. Sing us a song. Teach us the words, and we'll all sing along. Cause Mother Goose stories and Mother Goose rhymes make magical memories and wonderful times. Mother Goose stories and Mother Goose rhymes make magical memories. And wonderful times. This program was made possible by grants from the U.S. Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation, and the Carnegie Corporation of New York. Now that's a fine pyramid if I did build it myself. And I did, you know. Mother Goose, please come see the fine pyramid I built. I'll be right there, Bertram. This is a beautiful pyramid, quite the finest I've ever built. Isn't this grand, Mother Goose? Oh. 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 I'm sure it was grand, Bertram. Yes, it was. And now it's all in pieces. Oh, oh now, now, Bertram. You, you'll just have to build it again, like London Bridge. London Bridge? Oh, don't you remember that story, Bertram? I'll read it to you. If I can find my book. The, the book is on the chair, Mother Goose. Oh, oh, well, so it is. Thank you, Bertram. You're very good at finding things. And building pyramids, uh, except it fell down. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, here it is. Now, London Bridge was a lovely little bridge over a lovely little brook, but it fell down. Just like my pyramid. I know how they must have felt. Honk. Cheer up, Bertram, and listen to the story about London Bridge. London Bridge has fallen down, fallen down, fallen down. London Bridge has fallen down, my fair lady. Build it up with wood and clay, wood and clay, wood and clay. Build it up with wood and clay, my fair lady. Wood and clay will wash away, wash away, wash away. Wood and clay will wash away, my fair lady. Build it up with bricks and mortar. Bricks and mortar, bricks and mortar, build it up with bricks and mortar, my fair lady. Bricks and mortar will not stay, will not stay, will not stay. Bricks and mortar will not stay, my fair lady. Build it up with iron and steel, iron and steel, iron and steel. Build it up with iron and steel, my fair lady. Iron and steel will bend and bow, bend and bow, bend and bow. Iron and steel will bend and bow. My fair lady, build it up with silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. Build it up with silver and gold, my fair lady. Silver and gold will be stolen away, stolen away, stolen away. Silver and gold will be stolen away, my fair lady. I said a man to watch all night, watch all night. I said watch all night. I said a man to watch all night, my fair lady. Suppose the man should fall asleep. Fall asleep, fall asleep, suppose the man should fall asleep, my fair lady. We'll keep him company all the night, all the night, all the night. We'll keep him company all the night, my fair lady. That is a nice story, and I'm feeling much better, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Bertram. And now that you're feeling better, I must get going to town. I have a very long shopping list. Oh, please uh, don't forget porridge. I need porridge for my breakfast. Thank you for reminding me, Bertram. I'll just add it to my list. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. Mom, you 
and porridge. Can you think of anything else? I think you've covered everything. I'm off, then. I'll start rebuilding my pyramid. But don't worry, I'll come and carry those things for you. Thank you, Bertram. You're such a helpful goose. Oh, what a lovely little rose. You are really beautiful. Very small, but beautiful. I'll just give you some water and perhaps you'll grow big and tall and strong. Good morning, Blue Flowers. You're looking lovely this morning. Good morning, Mary. Oh, good morning, Mother Goose. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells, and so my garden grows. Well, it looks very nice, Mary. Yes, it does. But small, everything is very small. That's why I'm watering them all today. Well, I'm sure that watering will help them grow taller. Bye-bye, Mary. Bye, Mother Goose. And here's some water for you, you lovely little rose. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Uh, that's a good start. That's a very good start. Hmm. This pyramid will be the biggest and best I've ever built. Dum, 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 dum. Excuse me. What? Oh, oh, hello, sir. Do you happen to know the way to Babylon? Babylon? Of course. Go straight ahead that way. Or you can go straight ahead this way. Do I understand that I can go to Babylon that way? That's right. Or I can go to Babylon this way? That's also right. Oh, this is confusing. How many miles to Babylon? Three score and ten, sir. Can I get there by candlelight? Yes, and back again, sir. If your heels are nimble and light, you can get there by candlelight. Well, thank you. You've been a very helpful goose. To Babylon. To Babylon. Oh, I am confused. Which way would you take? Me? I don't know. Honk, honk. I usually fly. Fly? That's a great idea. Thanks! Did you see that? Now I've seen everything. Mother Goose is just not going to believe what I saw. Mother Goose! Whoops! I forgot. She's gone. Well, I'd better get to town and help her carry all those things on her list and remind her about the porridge. A growing goose needs a good, substantial bowl of porridge for breakfast, I always say. Uh -huh. Little dog gone. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Oh, Joan, have you lost your dog? Again? Yes, I have. Well, he must be around here somewhere. He never goes very far. No, he doesn't. We'll help you look. Sure, we'll be glad to help. Oh, thank you. Oh, where, oh, where has her little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where? <laughs> oh, what lovely flowers. You're growing up nicely. You're beautiful and bigger and taller. Oh, I do have the loveliest garden of all. Mmm. 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 Oh, boy. Curds and whey. My favorites. 
Except for porridge. Uh, and stuffed peppers, and toast and jam, and, and ice cream, and, and a whole lot of other foods. <laughs> My other favorites. Onk, uh, onk, uh, yum, yum. Hello, Bertram. I hope I didn't scare you. Oh, you didn't scare me. Nothing scares me. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Is it good? Mmm, very good. I'm sorry I didn't save some for you. That's all right. I'm looking forward to my own supper and porridge for breakfast. I have to hurry on and remind Mother Goose and carry her packages for her. Onk! Oh, Bertram, you are funny. I told you, nothing scares me. I was just testing. Da, da. Home. It's all gone. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Bertram, are you back? Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her. A spider! <coughs> who frightened Miss Muffet away. Oh. <laughs> Curds and whey look very good. I'm getting hungry myself. Maybe Mother Goose and I could have a bowl of curds and whey. Now, where could she be? Oh, look, here she comes. You ask her. No, you ask her. I'll ask her. We'll all we'll ask, ask her. her. Oh, oh, please, Mother, Mother Goose, Goose tell us a story, story just please, one story. Please. Well, all right, just one story, but then I must do my errands and my shopping. Now, uh, uh, oh dear, I, I can't find my book. Do you see it? No, 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 no we no, don't. I don't see it. No. Uh, well, uh, I don't either. I, I can't find it at all. I'm sorry. Uh, see, Bertram always finds my things for me, but I've lost him too. Oh! Did I hear an O? Oh? Uh, oh, hello. Uh, yes, you did. I, I would like to read a story, but I can't find my book. I see. Did you hear a C? Uh, so, you see, now there won't be a story. Oh, G. And there was G. I know a story, Mother Goose, one I learned from you. It's about the most important thing to you. Uh, well, please tell it. Here goes. Do you know what's absolutely, positively necessary for Mother Goose to have in order for her to write her stories? Writing paper? A pencil? A pen? Oh, those are all very important, but they're not the most important. I'll give you a clue. It's also something that's very important to me, something I love. I know, I know. You love letters. Right. I certainly do love letters. O and S and G and A, B, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, and T, U, V. W, X, and Y, and Z. Now I've said my A, B, C's. Tell me what you think of me. Teach us, please. All right, sing after me. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. E, F, G. E, F, G. H, I, J, K. H, I, J, K. L, M, N, O, P. L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S. Q, R, S. T, U, V. T, U, V. W, X, and Y, and Z. W, X, and Y, and Z. Now I've said my ABCs. Tell me what you think of me. I think you all did very well, very well indeed. <laughs> oh, thank, uh, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Mary. Oh, Mary. Are you in there? Honk, honk. Oh, there you are. I couldn't see you. 
Aren't my flowers beautiful? Oh, yes, they are. And big. Yes, big and beautiful. They're growing stronger and taller all the time. You're not hiding Mother Goose in there, are you? Oh, no, I don't think so. A at least I don't see nope. her. I don't see her either. But I've got to find her and carry her packages. Goodbye. You flowers are growing all right. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Honk, uh, honk. Uh. I'll bet you're looking for something. Yes, I am. Well, so am I. I'm looking for Mother Goose. I'm looking for my dog. I'll help you. I'm very good at finding things, and I'm a very helpful goose, too. Thank you. A little dog? Yes. Ears cut short? Yes. Tail cut long? Yes. Gee, I haven't seen him. But I'll look for your dog and Mother Goose. <laughs> you go that way. I'll look this way. Thank you. Honk, honk. Well, look at you. I knew I was good at finding things. Now we're only missing Mother Goose. You haven't seen Mother Goose, have you? I didn't think so. Here's your dog. Oh, thank you. Now come on home and be a good doggy, and I'll bake you a doggy cake. Cake? Mmm, that sounds good. Almost as good as porridge. I'd better find Mother Goose and remind her about the porridge. Honk, 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 honk. Okay, you guys, here are the stories about me. <laughs> oh, I like the one about you and the pie man best. Oh, I like that one myself. There's my book. I've been looking all over for that book. I'm sorry, Mother Goose. I was just reading about myself. You like those stories, don't you, Simple Simon? Yep. Well, we like them, too. Read us about the pie man, please. <laughs> All right, I will. Simple Simon met a pieman while going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Let me taste your wares. Said the pieman to Simple Simon. First, show me your penny. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Indeed. I haven't any. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> that rhyme is very funny. <laughs> Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Let me taste your wares. Said the pieman to Simple Simon. First, show me your penny. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Indeed, I haven't any. <laughs> I like the one about the whale. I like the bird rhyme. <laughs> I am pretty funny, aren't I? <laughs> yes, you are, Simon. <laughs> oh, simple Simon, simple Simon, whatever will we do? You're very funny and we love you. You never think things through. <laughs> now, here's the rhyme about the thistle. <laughs> that isn't very funny. Uh, simple Simon went to look if plums grew on a thistle. He pricked his finger very much, which made poor Simon whistle. Simple Simon went to look if plums grew on a thistle. He pricked his fingers very much, which made poor Simon whistle. Oh, simple Simon, simple Simon, whatever will we do? You're very funny and we love you. You never think things through. <laughs> Let me read the bird one, please. He went to catch a dicky bird and thought he could not fail because he got a little salt to put up on his tail. <laughs> he, went he went to catch, catch a dicky bird, bird and thought he could not fail because he got a little salt to put up on his tail. <laughs> <laughs> My turn, please. Simple Simon went a fishing for to catch a whale, but all the water that he got was in his mother's pail. Oh. 
Simple Simon, Simon went a fishing for to catch a whale, but well, all the water that, that he got was in his mother's pail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, simple Simon, simple Simon, whatever will we do? You're very funny and we love you. You never think things through. <laughs> Betty Butter bought some butter. But, she said, this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. A bit of better butter will make my batter better. So, she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter. <laughs> and I put it in my batter, and my batter wasn't bitter. Now, let me see if I've got this straight. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter, but a bit of better butter will make my batter better. So, she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter, and she put it in her batter, and the batter was not bitter. So, it was better Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. <gasps> that, that's exactly right! I'm getting hungry myself, too, you know. Uh, maybe a little porridge, hmm? With a little toast and jam on the side? Why not ask Mother Goose? She's right over there in the porridge shop. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot nine days old. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot nine days old. Bertram, come here, look what I have for you. Porridge for your breakfast. If you don't mind, I'll eat it now. Uh, but porridge is for breakfast. And supper, too. Thanks. <laughs> Whatever you say. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold. I like it in the pot nine days old. Oh. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot nine days old. Like me! Bertram, it's time to go home. It's nearly supper time. That was good porridge, and we have some for breakfast, too. Yes, we do. All right. I'm ready to carry all your packages home. And my packages? Well, all those things you had on your list. <gasps> oh, my list. Ah, I forgot about all the things on my list. <sighs> well, what do you know? At least we got the most important thing, oh, porridge. Well, we'll just have to come back tomorrow and get the rest of the things on my list. And you better come with me to remind me. That's the deal. And we'll get more porridge, too. I do love porridge. Yum, yum. Uh, uh. Porridge for supper, porridge for breakfast. I don't know about you, Bertram. I'm just a growing goose. Uh. Uh. Oh, we're here. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? I see silver bells and cockle shells. And so your garden grows and grows and grows. Bertram, who are you talking to? Bertram, are you talking to yourself again? Mary. Oh, Mary! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hello. Mary, look at you. Look at my garden. It certainly is big yeah. and tall and still growing. Oh, yes. 
Growing vegetables, you could grow the biggest green pepper anybody ever ate. Uh -huh. uh, I see you're rebuilding your pyramid, Bertram. Yes, it's going to be even bigger and better than before. Well, no building your pyramid tonight. You can do that tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We've had a busy day today. Uh -huh. Yes, we have. Look, there's the moon. I see the moon, and the moon sees me. God bless the moon, and God bless me. Good night, Mother Goose. Good night, Bertram. I see the moon, and the moon sees me. God bless the moon, and God bless me. Do you see the moon? The moon sees you. God bless the moon, and God bless you. Good night. This program was made possible by grants from the U.S. Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation, and the Carnegie Corporation of New York. Dear Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would ride on the back of a very fine gander. High in the sky she goes riding above, and everyone waves at the lady they love. Cause Mother Goose stories and Mother Goose rhymes make magical memories and wonderful times. Mother Goose stories and Mother Goose rhymes make magical memories and wonderful times.